Hey everyone, it's Gabrielle, so welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a Q&A. Many of my new subscribers are probably here because they probably saw my article on BuzzFeed or People Magazine or one of the many, many, many places that it was published. And that's probably why I have a lot of new people watching. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. It is going to be a very fun place for me to document my transition my love for makeup and story times and vlogs and just really fun things. I really hope you guys enjoy this Q&A and get to know a little bit more about me. Without further ado, let's get into the Q&A. So the first comment is from Francis and it says, what is your favorite movie genre? Sci-fi, comedy, or romance? Um, I'm going to have to say romance just because I'm romantic. And my favorite movie blue is the warmest color and Francis I just wanted to say a big thank you because I always see you commenting on my videos and you've uh, you've been a supporter for a very long time and I'm very thankful for that so thank you Spoonie Princess asks what do you look for when clothes shopping do you have a specific style that you look for I look for things that are very kind of like more mature and visually appealing because I think that clothing is very important. It makes a really, really, really important first impression. Whenever you meet someone, one of the first things that you look at is the way that they dress. And when I'm buying clothes, I want people to look at me and say, you know, well, she looks put together and she looks like she woke up in the morning and made a conscious decision about what she was going to wear. So that's really what I look for when I buy clothes. And speaking of Spoonie Princess, her name is Ophelia. And I just wanted to quickly tell everybody that, here, let me just go over Facebook. I just wanted to quickly say um, something about Ophelia and she is one of my friends at school. She is one of the sweetest girls I've ever met and I love her so much. Ophelia has chronic pain in her knees which makes walking very difficult and painful for her. So Ophelia is going to need a new wheelchair and she doesn't have the, um, she doesn't have all the money she needs to afford it. So if anybody out there could just donate even a, whether it's $20, $100, $1,000, $0.01, cent, $0.10, cents, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Anything will help. And I really, really, really just hope that someone uses the link in the description box and just donates because it would really make her day. And I, I love her and, you know, I've actually witnessed things not being accessible for her and it breaks my heart because it should be accessible for her. Next comment is from OMG Lily. Lily, I love you. You are honestly one of my favorite people on YouTube. And her comment is, what are your current favorite lip products? And this is really weird because I was just thinking about this when I was putting this lip product on. And my favorite lip product by far is Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Celebrity Skin. It is a gorgeous kind of muted rose, uh, a taupe color. It does look like cashmere by Lime Crime sometimes, but it's such a pretty color and I've been wearing it all the time and it's, it's probably like my signature go-to lip and I love it. I really recommend you go buy the Velour Liquid Lipsticks by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Next is from Emily and uh, she asks, what music do you like? Okay. My music taste is probably the most diverse music taste ever because I listen to everything. I'm going down my um, music library and there is going down my music library right now on my phone and there's Adora Delano. Always, Amy Winehouse, um, Bjork, Brooke Candy, Celine Dion, Cher, Courtyard Hounds, David Bowie, FKA Twigs, Flo Morrissey, Fru Fru, Grimes, Gwen Stefani, Halsey, Imogen Heap, who I love Imogen, oh, I love Imogen Heap so much. She's probably one of the most underrated musicians of all time. No joke. There's JJ, Lady Gaga, Lana Del Rey, Leighton Meester, Lights, Lord, Lucy Rose, Madonna, Marina and the Diamonds, Melanie Martinez, Mourn, Naomi Punk, 
um, Natalia Kills, Now Now, Paper Kites, Pretty Reckless, Robert Plant and Alison Krauss. Their album, Raising Sand, is amazing. Robin, Selena Gomez, Sixpence, None the Richer, and shout out to Fallon, my gorgeous friend who introduced me to the song Don't Dream It's Over by Sixpence, None the Richer. My Probably one of my favorite songs ever, along with Title by Imogen Heap. Uh, so my music taste is, it's like, it's really different. It's kind of everything. Um, my friend Brie asks, trains or crossovers? Um, that's an inside joke from history class. And my answer is <laughs> grasshoppers, probably. Um, next question is favorite food from scrunch me he he. <laughs> um, my favorite food is ice cream by far. And I regret it every time I eat it. Grace asks, what is your dream date? My dream date is probably in Paris or Italy. So like if someone was giving me, you know, presents for like a date, I'd be like, okay. okay. Next is from Kat and uh, they ask, what's your favorite makeup brand? Also, what country would you most like to visit? My favorite makeup brand is probably Morphe because I own a lot of Morphe stuff and they are really great quality for a really, really affordable price. And I just got this brush, the M439. Um, oh my God, this changed my foundation forever. I will never use anything else but this brush. It is life-changing. I'm gonna link some of my favorite Morphe products down below and you should go purchase them because they are amazing. And if you're new in makeup and you wanna build your kit or if you're transitioning and you know you wanna purchase some foundation palettes or concealer palettes or eyeshadow palettes, then Morphe is great because they're so affordable and they're great quality. And the country I'd most like to visit is Paris. Anna, I, I, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, um, asks, what's your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a goat. Emily asks, what is your favorite song? Probably I Want Your Love by Lady Gaga. And it was just released for the Tom Ford Spring Summer 2016. Um, that's probably my favorite song just because it's really groovy and like really fun. Amina asks, explain your beef between you and Gianna Huffman. Okay. First of all, let me clarify that there's no beef between us. We used to be friends and she said some things that I don't personally agree with and I just don't want to associate myself with that type of opinion and that type of attitude from that person and I'm not I'm not bashing her I'm not trying to put negativity on her I'm not telling people you know to unsubscribe from her channel because she's doing her own thing and that's totally fine by me there's no beef between us I don't know if she's mad she can she can have whatever emotions she wants towards me but I'm not spreading any negativity I'm not trying to uh put that off because it's not the type of person that I want to be on YouTube or in real life for that matter and yeah I don't really have anything else to say about her except that if she's doing good things for people who are transitioning and if she's helping people figure out their path in their transition then that's great then I'm fine and I don't care but for myself I just don't really want to be surrounded by that. Vaishnavi, I, I hope I'm saying your name right, I'm really trying, asks, from where do you buy your clothes? Love your channel, XO. Well, thank you for the uh, sweet compliment. I buy my clothes from Winners a lot of the time. I love Winners. It's like one of my favorite stores ever just because it's so like 
everything you can find everything there i buy a lot of my clothes from winners the last question is how did your classmates at school react to you to your transitioning and my classmates at school were really great and supportive always they really they really always were supportive it was a little bit um odd at the start for everyone because they didn't really understand the concept of gender and i did get a little bit of kind of ridicule um just not not such positive feedback from people and i'd say that now that's completely different and my school is really supportive and the students are really supportive and I've had a great, great, great experience transitioning in high school and I'm very thankful for that. School is now somewhere that, you know, when I go, I feel safe and I feel good and I feel like I'm being respected and that's something that I want when I go to school. So that is the end of the Q&A and I really hope you guys enjoyed this and if you want another Q&A, please just leave me a comment or tweet me or follow me on Instagram and DM me but I will leave everything in the description box below. And I wanted to say thank you for everyone who subscribed to me. It really does mean the world to me because YouTube has always been one of my passions and I put a lot of work into it. And I can't wait for everyone to come on this journey with me. And until I see you guys next time, stay beautiful.